Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to one minute tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the kinetic chain on the forehand. Now on this channel, there's a lot of videos about the kinetic chain, but today I want to show you how you can test out whether you've got the correct kinetic chain and whether you're hitting the ball with the maximum efficiency and power that you can. Now, kinetic chains always begin from the ground up or from the body out. They're never coming in, they're never going down. So the forehand power begins from a wide base in the ground, and then we have the rotation of the hips coinciding with the movement of pushing up with the legs. So it's the legs, the hips, the body, the arm, and then the racket. And then, if it's all correct and if you're relaxed and loose, then the racket whips through with tremendous speed so it changes to the racket pulling the arm, rotating the body. So legs, hip, body, arm, racket, arm, body. And you have to do this by feel. The only way of achieving this, it was with the feel of the stroke. And it happens in such a short space of time that if you haven't learned it at a very early age, it's difficult to avoid simply being arm racket. And the body, the legs, the hips are isolated providing no help and sometimes even holding and restricting the power of the stroke. But what's happening within the kinetic chain is a combination of two forces of physics, the centripetal force and centrifugal force. So if I take this racket and just spin it in my hand, then both of those forces are represented. You see, if this was a roundabout, and if you were in the middle of this roundabout, then centripetal force would be holding you in place. But if you were on the end of the roundabout, then centrifugal force would be forcing you away. In the kinetic chain of the modern forehand, then centripetal force is present in the middle, but centrifugal force is throwing energy away from me through the racket and into the ball. This is why it's so powerful. But how to test if we're doing it right? What I've now got is a bottle of water. I'll just take the top off and I'm going to hold it from the top so I squeeze in. I'm not holding it from the rim here where the screwy bit is, I'm holding it from the top of the bottle here. And you can see that there's water in the bottle. Now, if you have a correct kinetic chain in the forehand, then centrifugal force should keep the water in the bottle. If you look, the, the bottle's pretty full. So now I make the stroke, I go back, through, and finish. Back, through, and finish. I can finish over the shoulder, or I can finish down by the side. But if your stroke is correct, then centrifugal force keeps the water inside the bottle. If you have an old-fashioned linear stroke, back and forwards, and now we have water coming everywhere. But if you have a correct unit turn and then a kinetic chain with energy coming from the ground up and inside out, then you'll be creating centrifugal force and the water is forced down the bottle and it's throwing energy away. It can't in this case because the water is contained by the bottle, but if there was a hole in the bottle here at the bottom, then the water would be flying out away from the bottle, not just dropping inertly, as we'll see in a lot of forehands. So use this to test your stroke out. If you don't have it straight away, no problem. Use the bottle to find the feeling of the stroke and then transfer to the racket and retain the feel of the stroke. Have some shadow strokes, then hand-fed balls, and then go into a rally with a practice partner and just keep retaining this lovely smooth feeling using the forces of physics to add more power to your stroke. I hope this makes sense and I hope that your forehand passes the centrifugal force test. If you like my ideas, check out the books on Amazon. We have books on a whole range of subjects within tennis showing the breakdown of the strokes biomechanically and with laws of physics and the science of the strokes and then super simple solutions that really help you get to the next level. Or if you prefer to work personally, join players in over 30 countries all over the world of all ages and all levels that I'm working with on a one-to-one -one basis. It's a unique service and it really works. For more information on online coaching, have a look at the website or email me. So make sure you've got the correct kinetic chain. Make sure the energy is going from the ground up and from the body out and you'll hit harder, faster and easier. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.